Shock, or hypoperfusion, is the inability of the circulatory system to supply cells with oxygen. In early stages, symptoms occur as the body attempts to compensate for blood loss. Physiological causes of shock are the heart failing to pump, loss of blood volume, or blood vessels dilating, creating a vascular container capacity that is too great to be filled by available blood. Categories of severity are compensated shock, presents as an increased heart rate, increased respiration, and constriction of peripheral circulation, which results in pale, cool skin, and in infants and children, increased capillary refill time. Decompensated shock starts with low blood volume or lack of perfusion. Symptoms include falling blood pressure. Shock is irreversible when perfusion to the organs cannot be restored. Cell damage occurs, especially in the liver and kidneys. Even if vital signs are restored, irreparably damaged organs may cause death. The main types of shock are hypovolemic shock, caused by uncontrolled hemorrhage, internal, external, or both, or by plasma loss in burns or crush injuries. Cardiogenic shock occurs during a myocardial infarction or heart attack. Damaged heart muscle or electrical malfunctioning decrease the strength of the heart's contractions, causing a slow, fast, or irregular heartbeat. Neurogenic shock may result from the uncontrolled dilation of blood vessels due to nerve paralysis in spinal cord injuries. There is no blood loss, but the blood vessel dilation increases the capacity of the circulatory system and available blood can no longer fill it. Sepsis, massive infection, or an anaphylactic or severe allergic reaction may also cause shock from blood vessel dilation. As an EMTB, you do not need to diagnose the type of shock. Instead, you must recognize and treat for shock whenever there is a mechanism of injury or signs that indicate the possibility of shock.